We continue covering Colorado First for you tonight and taking you to one of the biggest art shows in the West. The Coors Western Art Show is happening right now over at the National Western Stock Show in Denver. Your reporter, Olivia Young, takes us inside the exhibit, checking out the amazing works of art and even sharing her own personal connection. Down the hall from the stock shows Rodeo and Petting Zoo is one of the most prestigious Western art shows in the world. For over 30 years, cowboys on canvas have joined those in real life at the Coors Western Art Show. This year is a big transition year with a lot of new artists, kind of new styles and more Western contemporary work. This year there's a new flair for the contemporary, ushered in by new curator Kate Lavin. Still keeping with the traditional theme of Western art, it's rooted in landscape, figures, subject matter. The show features over 70 artists from across the country, including my own father, Rick Young. I do uh, southwestern landscapes, and I spend a lot of time hiking, driving back roads, looking for scenes that I find appealing. He has six pieces in the show. This is a scene uh, from northern New Mexico in the Rio Grande del Norte National Monument. And loves the diversity of Western art included. Expressive, colorful work like mine, you know, equine studies of horses, cowboy scenes, everything else you can think of that represents the American West. Despite the cold, snowy boots filling the exhibit as Lavin is already planning for next year. Entry to the Coors Western Art Show is free with Stock Show General Entry and the show runs through the end of the Stock Show. In Denver, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First.